Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special mailbag oh, episode. Oh, man, mm. I can't wait to I check know you love these. inside my bag. Have a look. Open that sack. Of, I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm peeling it open right now. And what do I see? A letter. Just for me. Who was it who said the other day that I <laughs> pe people only come to my door if they have something to give me, like a present, like right. a letter or package yeah. or... No one should be coming to my door unless they have, unless they're dropping off something for me. Maybe yeah. a child. I don't know. Like whatever it is. What in about your case. people who turn up at your door and drop off the uh, the gift of uh, knowledge of our Lord? Do you like those? <laughs> those? Right. I haven't had any of those in a long time. No, nah, me neither. I they think always COVID... try and debate me. I'm always like, I'm sorry, I'm an atheist. I think I think COVID. Uh... I think COVID, COVID like killed put them a, off. Yeah, well, it didn't kill them off, but I think it just like uh, put like a spanner in the works for them. You know, yeah. I, I think been able too to many travel. of them got bitten by dogs, or you know what I mean? and, and I think they maybe, they maybe just looked at it and were like, "Look, this is not giving us the return anymore." Yeah, they just looked at the numbers and were like, "It's just better just to to go to Africa or I, somewhere." I think you're giving it far too much. Uh, far thought, too much really. thought. I, I think there's just not enough people that want to do it. I honestly expect oh. that's the thing. Well, they're forced okay. to, though, aren't they, though? What, often? by their god? You shall go to the doors of the people that are at home during the day and bother them. <laughs> but, Lord, why? <laughs> why must we go to the doors? Because you've got to do it. I command the... Don't question <laughs> it me, is, I'm God! It is written in Look, the I just B writ it. I've just writ it. Therefore, it yes. is written. Thou shalt cold call to the doors. <laughs> Knocketh thee on the dwelling of the unbeliever. It says right here in the scriptures. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. All right, yeah. do you guys want some emails? Yeah, yeah I would please. love one. Hit right. me up. This is from Luke. In my mind, though, I thought you were actually opening in real letters. So when you said emails, it kind of pulled me out. Oh, I'm of sorry. The... Here, hold on. Let me just... Uh... <laughs> Russell the mailbag, here we go. Can you print, can you print them out next time? <laughs> Fuck off, I'm always doing the paper and the ink. I refuse. Uh, so do you remember that lad whose car broke down? No. Vaguely? Okay. This was this was sent in October, so we did speak about this on a previous podcast. Uh, oh yeah, his time. car broke down, right? And I said that maybe the engine was flooded? It wouldn't turn over. So it was replacement starter motor. Oh. That's it, yeah. Dad advice points to Pyrian, apparently. I, I oh, right. so by the way... Oh, there you go. I've yeah. um, I had a I had um I owe my my cleaner an apology because right. for a long time I've been living in this flat like three four years now right and for a long time the washing machine's been a bit fucky mm. okay right I got the plumber around finally yesterday to have a look at it and it turns out ever since I've lived there the hot water has been plumbed into the cold water oh mate oh. that's intake. a bloody nightmare it's whoever who put this in who put, <laughs> who put this, this in the classic. <laughs> So I owe my cleaner a podgy because she, she, she shrunk like a bunch of my clothes. Oh, I think you said like, she had I put on a cold bunch, wash yeah. and I'm like, but So okay. it was on like a massive, like a hot... So wait, you got a cleaner that comes in and does your laundry as well? She does one... She puts a load on when I'm... When she's... when she's cause, Yeah, she puts one load on. Because I, I, I leave it How like half How often do you get a cleaner? Sometimes. Once a week? Once a week for an hour. Uh, yeah. For an hour, right. So she just does whatever, like yeah. Hoover or whatever's needed. She's great. Love her. I love her a bit. So right. sorry. But it's fine. It's it's It should be fine now, hopefully. I don't know whether it's fucked the washing machine, though, from years of hot water going uh, through the wrong bits, you know? I, well, I assume it that it, it... I mean, the, these machines, like your, your dishwashers, your washing machines, they, they have, like, temperature monitors in there. So the water goes in. Certainly for my dishwasher, the water goes in and then if I think it, it it's cold if you open it early on and it gradually heats up. So I assume when it gets to a certain temperature, it says, all right, that's hot enough. So you'd hope that it just stops and goes, oh, that's it's hot already. And so, you know, it just doesn't I bother. think that is what's happening. Yeah. But I also think what's happening is it was like, because the hot water pressure is not as high. So it wasn't like getting enough, but also it was like... Um, it was it was like stopping cycles early because I don't know why. Like maybe it couldn't. Maybe it was like it wouldn't do a, a rinse cycle or whatever. Because right. It couldn't. I don't know. It was like oh, this. I've got to wait for this to cool down, and it's like never cooling down. Yeah, whatever. that could be. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I'm, I'm excited. I've I've started to have like nice fresh clothes again, and I'm like oh, finally. So I've nice. gone through and like washed everything in my hmm. in my flat. Um, I've got a, um, I got basically the uh, like a, a hole in the in in the ground in my front yard the size of a swimming pool, B 
because we're having a, an extension put in on the ground floor of our house. Mm, They've had to right. dig like a big, big asshole. But the the weather's been terrible recently. There's been a lot of rain. And uh, the hole just keeps filling up with water. <laughs> like the guys will be working, it'll start raining. You won't see them for the rest of the day. They come back the next day. There's just like fucking two feet of water in there. <laughs> like it's <laughs> it's pretty bad. I, I, so it's made me realize that I would absolutely hate being a uh, outdoor laborer, an, an a construction worker. Yeah. yeah, it would fucking suck big time. It does sound like it would suck. Just hard. Some, but so the, there are a lot of people that want to work outdoors all the time. Yeah, sure. And but they like, feel that working indoors, oh, God, I'd like to be cooped up in an office all day. But yeah, I, I don't see it as being cooped up. I see I it as get, being inside. It's com more comfortable for sure. Like, I think working outside in the summer is probably great. But like in the winter, no, I, I don't want Indeed, it. no. Yeah. It's a no. But in the rain and so, the snow and cold wind and everything. Blech, no which countries do you think are the most densely populated in the world, uh, the, um, the United Kingdom. I'd say, uh, uh, well, parts of China, right? Isn't isn't the isn't Hong Kong uh, have the the highest population density? United Kingdom is fifty two. Wow. What about Brunei? Brunei, I think Brunei is quite big. One hundred thirty seven. It's Jer massive. Oh, no. it, it, I think Jersey's got quite a, a high. Uh, Population density for Jersey its size. is 13th on the list. There you oh, go. Uh, there you go. Uh, oh, so yeah. let's think. Japan. Uh, though Japan's all the way down as well. Japan's it's got to be, be parts of, of India and China that, that, yeah, but, uh, but India's that top the list. Yeah, but India's fucking huge. It's fucking huge, man. But the, you've seen, like, have you seen some of like the, the, the conditions that people uh, live in in like, some of the big cities and stuff? Right, they're right, just but, they're but he said piled on top he of said each other. He said country that is the most densely populated, not country that has the most dense population oh. spots. Yeah, Correct Japan's higher wrong. than India, um, but but so you're you're talking about so you're, the so country you're, as a you're whole. You're trying to find very small places yeah. that are, yeah. that have a high uh, population. Belgium. Yeah. There's a couple you know. No, the couple you know that are obvious. Guernsey. <laughs> yeah, Guernsey. That's higher than Jersey. There you go. <laughs> um, great. I won't uh, say Sark because 12. I think there's like ten people that live there. It's like it's small, but like it's not it's not densely populated. You know, I think the population uh, is dense, but I don't think it's pop. It it has no. A it's high not. What about somewhere like? Dense. What about like Haiti? Haiti. Yeah. Okay, you're going abroad here. Uh, Haiti is again de decently pop. Thirty second. Okay. Thirty second. Uh, right. It's 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 better than Belgium, but less than India. The Isle of so Man. Isle of Man. No, that's not that's not all that densely populated. It's oh. 86th. Oh, less damn. populated than damn. than Jersey and Guernsey. It's actually some of these little city states. Gibraltar. The, Gibraltar. Singapore. Gibraltar is fifth. Singapore is third. Right. You're getting it now. Yeah. It's um, these like small, small. I thought ass Brunei places. was a, one of those city state things. That's my The Vatican. I think you're thinking of Bahrain. Oh, the Vatican is very lightly populated. Hardly anybody lives. It's got to be, right? There's only like the Pope and like. Uh, Vatican Mrs. is the Doyle. same population density as Jersey. No actually. way. Holy shit. Yeah. So interesting. The most pop densely populated places are Macau and Monaco. Right. Oh, actually, of, course, of course. They're actually very, very small places. Monaco's yeah. only Monaco's like two kilometers tiny. squared. Yeah. yeah. And Macau's really small, but it's got a lot of people in it. Um, and Hong Kong, Singapore, yeah, densely populated. But because Jersey was so high up the list, I was like, you know, I, I, I feel like. I've walked around Jersey and there's a lot of farmland. So no, even but when you're in the, when you're in town, it's like, especially during like, uh, you know, busy periods, like lunchtime and stuff like that. It is very, very, very busy. Well, yeah, but you go anywhere at lunchtime. It's busy. It's fucking no, packed in but I mean, it's, it's busy. you can't even walk in Jersey. Like at lunchtime, it's so busy. It's We're like, not saying the population density where the football games on. <laughs> no, I think that messes no, it up. No. <laughs> hey, speaking <laughs> of football, not, not quite a football game, but, um, well, me, me and my wife, we don't do much, you know, like we got too many kids and like there's not a lot of time to do stuff or whatever. But sometimes when something rolls around and you get excited about it, you just got to go for it, right? So this summer on the, on July the um, 8th, I think it is or something, we're going to see Blur live at Wembley Stadium, baby. I've never for even been before. 140 quid heck? each. 140 quid a ticket. Well, man, I mean, you know, it's like they're not even really an active band anymore. So it's yeah, like, I know. it's the nostalgia. That, that's why you know? I wouldn't pay 140 quid for them. They're going to be dog well, shit. He, no, they might what be talking scalped, about? though, Great. for the old. Um, is, did you buy a ticket through Ticketmaster or some scam site? No, I think we just <laughs> bought them through a scam site. Sorry, did you say Ticketmaster yeah. or a scam site? Interesting. <laughs> oh. Ticketmaster. 
Isn't Ticketmaster just a whole scammy scalping thing where they... I, I, I watched a whole thing where basically you can... Basically, Ticketmaster work with resellers to like just sell the tickets on their own yep. site for up up. They up don't prices. give a shit. They don't. Yeah. Give it's a awful shit. place. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, it's it's one of those. You know, you gotta if you want to do something, and I mean that's how much yeah. it costs. I mean, I can't get you around it. You have to navigate the world somehow. Yeah, exactly. And Man, that's that's going to be out of your comfort zone. Sips going to Wembley Stadium. And- well, I've never been to Wembley Stadium, so I'm I'm excited for that as well. Uh, like it looks looks pretty cool, but yeah, to see a show as well, I think it's going to be great. I'm like really looking forward to it. And we get like a, a night away from home, and uh, we we've, we've already got like my mother in law drafted in to look after all of our kids while we're away and stuff. It's going to be great. Holy shit. Excited. It's not a million miles away from you, is it? Wembley no. Stadium. No, no, it's like Flax. Wembley. Yeah. yeah, it's like what? It's like thirty minutes from Heathrow. It's like not that far. It, it's easy to. Do, go do, to do you ever yeah. hear like football from your local because Twickenham gra- rugby ground yeah. is near you? So, do you hear it? Like, yes. During the if Twickenham, um, if the wind is in the right direction, it does make a difference. It, you you do hear the big England games. Um, like sometimes we'll be watching them on the TV if we, if it's a big game, if it's like, you know, the, what is it? The six nations or whatever, we'll, we'll watch it, chuck it on. And you can hear the cheer before you see it on TV because there's oh, that wow. slight delay, which is great. Yeah, cool. yeah. Um, so you know, when we've scored a try, cause you, you can hear it. Um, but the Quins, Harlequins, that is the ground is, is closer to me than the stadium. Cause I live on the sort of West side of Twickenham. West Side, and West Side, yeah. and uh, that—that's a reasonably well-attended sort of Premier League rugby ground, um, and yeah, you can hear that really, really well. Nice. But the the other the thing that you can hear even better is whenever they have a big concert on, um, you can hear that. In, like from Twickenham, you can hear. I think it's, I can't remember. It was a big metal band. It might have been Metallica or something like that. You could hear that all yeah. across Twickenham, which was very Man. cool. But a few years ago, this would have been about four years ago, Elton John did a big tour and he played at the Quinn's ground and we could hear every song. I, I sat in my garden and listened to the whole concert. It was pretty cool. Holy but I crap. do wish, I wish I'd gone. I could have gone. It was, it's so close. I could he's, have gone. Uh, he's done now, right? This is his he, last. He is, but he can't really sing anymore, bless him. And he's, he's pretty No, but like old. this is his last tour that he's on right now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like it you're, is, yeah. you're running out of time to see him if uh, well, you Well, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm, well, I, he's not I, very I good now. I should have seen him when he was. <laughs> I should have seen that previous <laughs> tour. he could sing. Yeah, he sounded great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, now it's a, he's a much, he got a much deeper voice now. Eh? Like yeah. a candle mm-hmm. in the wind, and he sort like of does this wreck a heart there, bear him, yeah, 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 yeah. even more than he ever used to. Like, yeah, it's just, I just think it's bad. just because he's not got the lung capacity to blast. We got a him very out. similar situation close by to my house. We have a uh, outdoor bowling uh, club. Uh, close by, man. Do you mean like are... lawn bowls? Yeah, lawn bowls. Ah. Fuck me, they're so uh, loud sometimes. Oh, really? Like they just, yeah, I don't know what the hell they're doing over there. But like, and if there's like a, you know, any excuse to light off a couple of fireworks as well, right? Like they they get down there, they got their pims out and they're lighting up fireworks and stuff. I mean. Yeah, I got kids that are trying to sleep, you know? Like, I wish they'd keep it down. Mm. They're really rowdy. You guys got to be careful. People just look around at a house with a big hole in it outside it near a bowling club in Jersey. Well, it's it's a small place. I mean, you'll probably find a (laughs) dozen houses that fit that description, you know? Oh, I suppose. If you ask around. Yeah, yeah. um, Yeah. Everyone knows you. Everyone knows each other. I know. Do you guys Um, want some emails on this mailbag episode? I mean, Holy shit, yeah, it's been 15 minutes. We haven't even had a single email yet. No, we had one. Oh yeah. What, sorry. Wait, what was the content about, of the email though? Because it, it was just a guy saying it was literally one line saying, oh, that, it was saying the that you got motor. it right about yeah. his car. It was the starter motor. Yeah, wow. I just thought it would be a nice little update for people who were. <laughs> <wise>. <laughs> it is a nice little update. Your, your car detective work was was spot on. Yeah, that is a cool. sweet update. Um. So, this is from Harvey. Hi guys, love the podcast, etc. Just to let you know, I'll be attending the grand opening of Liverpool Hooters next Monday. To watch Ooh. all the World Cup matches, man, I can't wait to see some titties. All the best, Harvey. <laughs> hey, good Harvey. Luck to you, Harvey. Yeah, good luck, uh, and, and make sure that you send a follow-up one-liner email with an update on uh, how it went. Tell us how the well. titties were. Yeah. I want a description. No pictures, please. That would be a bit. bit weird. Lewis is going to go to Hooters for the first time in his life on his fortieth birthday, so that he's excited <laughs> for that. We might go. Actually, might, might even go to Liverpool. Eh, get some titties. We with might the boys do a live and... podcast from there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Hey, we're on location Please. inside the uh, newly opened Hooters in <laughs> Liverpool. Um, uh, let's 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 cut to Lewis. Lewis just got like a face full of tits, like uh, can't even muffle <laughs> speech. Woo! <laughs> 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 I'm reporting <laughs> from inside the Hooters. <laughs> Oh man! All right, this uh, one has to be a lie. Uh, uh, no way! Okay, no, this one, this has to be a lie. Sure. Um, I work for one of the largest producers of minoxidil in the world, a hair growth drug. Now, right, that this has to be a lie because the one in the Simpsons was called demoxinil. Right. So unless they have actually made a drug and called it minoxidil as kind of a reference to demoxinil, which so one makes your hair grow and one makes your hair fall out. No, but it, the Simpsons episode my one, my one of my favorite episodes where homer gets the demoxinil makes his hair grow back and gets a fancier job at the power plant oh yeah that's a good one that's yeah. called demoxinil right so this email from dawson lewis uh is uh he says he works for the producers of minoxidil so either well, well, demoxinil well, no, yeah, is a play no, on minoxidil or minoxidil it is, yeah. So it is. Yeah, they couldn't use yeah. the real so, the real name. Uh, okay. A lot of the drugs we have these days have been around for a very long time. This uh, is okay. this is I've googled it. It's Rogaine. It's developed in the late 1950s. Yeah. So, oh, okay. yeah. Rogaine has like um like some uh, some crazy uh, stuff in it though that can make your like heart rate go up and stuff, right? Like you you if you're if you're if you've got like a weak ticker apparently you shouldn't use it or something. Okay. Like there's there's some well, stuff th in it. Well, this is a very well this is because a lot of these drugs um are developed for common things like usually heart stuff or in in high blood pressure things like this right, right? And, and then so it's that's like what, a side effect yeah. that's what minoxidil yeah. was originally used for it was originally used to treat high blood pressure right, right? and so what what happened and that happened with viagra and it happens to all these things like a lot of these things are just they fuck with your brain chemistry well, what's, because the, they're what's the deal with viagra chemi though chemicals. like I, I i know what it is obviously but i don't know like much about how it works like if you take a viagra pill do you just have a boner for like hours and it no. will not go yes. away yes no i don't believe that's the case as i understand yes, it, is, it, it increases it? the blood flow to that particular part of your body which right. shall remain nameless because this is not a smutty podcast, obviously. <laughs> it's your dangus, right? But um, I, I think it, it like it doesn't just give you a boner, right? I think it just encourages it. So if you're if you're having if you're, trouble, if, right. then it, it can assist you. But essentially, if you if you can't get a boner at all, then it's not going to help. That's my understanding of it, anyway. I thought yeah. that even if you couldn't get one, this would just give you a boner. But like you're stuck with it for hours. Sort of no, thing, I don't until think that's, the, that's priapism. The wear off. That would be called priapism, oh, right. which is oh, a, an see. uncontrollable is boner. A... Is is a, the medical condition is priapism? Uh, I read okay. an article about a guy who injected some, fucking people are nuts. Injected cocaine into his dick. <laughs> and that doesn't sound it, too nuts to no, me. No, it really doesn't. And it, <laughs> this man right. sounds like a pioneer. <laughs> I know that that didn't sound too smart to me, but yeah, that doesn't that's what they said nuts. about people who discovered the new world back in the day. <laughs> right. And now look at us. He's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> He's a genius. So he did it so he could fuck longer. And apparently, it, I don't know, it, I'm sure it feels like you've got a dick full of cocaine or whatever. But um, it gave him priapism. And basically, if you have it for too long, it could cause very, very serious you condition. Can get, yeah, can I think you really could even sore. lose your lose your dangus. If it, oh, if it, he if got, you, man. oh, my God. He got, Can't even he think got about gangrene that. in it. Shit. On examining him, brace yourself, everyone. Okay. The, the doctor said his penis was swollen, as expected. Uh, however, it was also black, uh, ulcerated, <laughs> and oozing a foul-smelling discharge. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> Yikes! That uh, doesn't sound Christ. great. Do that not inject great. cocaine into your dicks, everybody. Yeah, it's please, not the please play. Stop. Please stop. With oh the dick. my gosh! Uh, Man. His clinical condition slowly improved, so he refused any surgery. Um, <laughs> I love but that. It's fine. I'll leave it as it is. I feel like you, uh, you are f just in in hell if you get to the point in your life where your penis is ulcerated and uh, emitting a foul smelling discharge. Oh, no. Yeah, discharge. I think Jesus. that's about as bad as I would want to be such dead a... at that point. I would just <laughs> say, such... forget surgery. Oh. Fucking shoot me right now, like in the in the face. Well, the I'm problem done. is this is like one of those decadent rich people problems. Do you know what I mean? It's the, it's like these these people who are who were so crazy about like living wild that wild life, you know, of cocaine and drugs and sex and all this. It's mm. not us guys. We're playing 
World of Warcraft. Why, do you, why here. do you need to inject uh, cocaine into your like if, if if that's your lifestyle, the party lifestyle and stuff? Just do cocaine normally and just have sex. Like it's you know <laughs> what I mean. It's, what's the well, maybe, what's, what's the what's I like? How do you get to the point where you've decided that that's the next step? I think a drug-addled mind d- makes odd decisions. Though, I suppose. You know? but like I don't know. I feel like if I was happy enough just doing that, I would just you know I wouldn't change it up much. You know, I'd get my cocaine, I'd find myself a sexual partner, and then I would just uh, I would go go ham every time. You know, I just keep it keep it consistent. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to like branch out too oh. much. Start injecting oh. things into my my dangus and stuff. No thanks. This is great advice. I think for Indeed. all of our listeners. Yeah. All right. Well, back yeah. back to minoxidil. Keep it simple. Um, to preface, Rogaine. there are a slew of factors that affect an individual's hair loss. Many of them are typical diet, exercise, stress that you hear repeated ad nauseum for most conditions. To grossly oversimplify, a lot of hair loss can be reduced down to two few nutrients getting to the hair follicle. And for Lewis, once a follicle is dead, it is dead. So if he does want hair transplants, minoxidil, whatever, act soon. The gene that would oh. make an individual predisposed to hair loss are found in the X chromosome, which would have to come from the mother, as they only receive the Y chromosome from their father. Yeah. The tale of look at the mother's father is because if the father has hair, then there's at least a 50% chance the X chromosome the mother gives the child would be inclined towards better hair. Fun fact of the day... Dick size is similar in that it's also governed by the X chromosome. Nice. So if you've got a big Lyndon B. Johnson, you can tell people your mother's packing. By the way, bonus what <laughs> I hate answer. I absolutely hate when you so quickly jump to one end of the spectrum on a topic and campaign for that side, but then admit to not knowing anything about it two minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck oh, off. Welcome to our podcast. Like everyone on the planet. <laughs> yes. I- yeah. Fuck yeah. off. I, That's, uh, I thanks for the that, email. Fuck off. At least we have the self awareness, though. Yeah, geez, we're not our fucking taking it seriously. Opinions but. might not well, be. I am. Maybe, maybe opinions <laughs> suck. This is my life. Generally, I don't know about you guys, but I take this very I ha- seriously. I hate. I hate. I hate the the idea that opinions are given an equal weight to facts. Yeah. Yeah. We, if you think these are we facts, have neither, you're an idiot. Um, you're an idiot. Yeah. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. We I'll have neither good it. opinions or facts. Yeah, yeah good. I, got, I, got, I think I got fairly decent opinions, you know? I know the, the Adele <laughs> one didn't go down too well with you guys or whatever, but, like, I, I, I take full responsibility for that. It's, maybe it's a bad take or whatever, but did, um... Wait, did you guys ever go down the rap, the Buble rabbit hole about the, uh, the, the weird... The, the weirdness, auto-tune. The weirdness with Buble? No, no. The the more like the uh, the domestic side of Buble. No, I didn't. The dark I, side I, of I, Buble. I, I, I looked briefly, and when I saw the headlines, I was like, I don't want to read about this. Because <laughs> Mrs. F is still going to play that shit at Christmas. I don't want to have to continue mentioning No, yeah, no, I understand. It. I understand. Well, it, it, I think it turns out that, again, it's the cocaine into his dick type it's situation. It's got to be, right? He's been fucked up by fame, Yeah, maybe. I think he has been. I don't know. Yeah. Just like too many people adoring him and telling him he's great and... It's ruined him. You need some people to tell you your shit occasionally or else you'll turn into a fucking asshole. I know that he should stream on Twitch because people will tell you your shit at everything all the time every day. Like, I think it would, I think he could thicken up his skin, you know, just like, just do a stint, you know, just like a year. I don't year think you should be the one though, to tell people their shit. Okay. Don't tell people their shit. Just let anonymous internet people tell people their shit. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, you think it's, I think it's, so I think that's probably why he's he abusive. Feels- he's probably calling his wife all these shit, names yeah. and stuff. <laughs> he's just, yeah. You suck I mean, at that. There's a, there's a seesaw there. Just be nice. Be not, be nice to people. Yeah. All right. Good, good yeah. idea. Good idea. But this- not too nice to Michael <coughs> Bublé. Yeah. No. Fuck all right. Bublé. Yeah. Fuck him. Uh, this is a, uh, do you reckon, by the way, do you reckon Michael Bublé says things that rhyme with Bublé? Um, in Nothing his rhymes life? with Bublé. Well, yeah, you give say me that, one example about... of something that rhymes with Bublé. All right, cook my dinner or you'll be in Trouble. <laughs> okay, but that's... <laughs> that's good. I'll give you that. But nobody would ever say uh, that. It's too, like... It's... I'm saying I think he replaces words <laughs> like, uh, instead of calling it rubble, he calls it ruble. Right. And, uh, and so on. I reckon he does that. Uh, clean up all that ruble. <laughs> yeah, clean uh, up the ruble that's lying around. Do you here. think when he turns up, he's going on a summer vacation to Russia, and when he lands in the plane, he goes to the foreign exchange desk, he's like, Buble needs some ruble? <laughs> I, I honestly think he does. Yes. I, he I, does, I, does rhyme. Like, like Santa's sleigh. That rhymes. Yeah. Right? Buble is uh, here to what, slay. Buble is here to slay. That would be a very different kind of band, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
Before we carry on, have you been naughty or nice this year? Well, just like Santa knows, uh, your ISP also knows what you've been searching on the internet. Uh, even private mode or incognito mode don't help. Your ISP will sell your data to advertisers and other not, not, not very nice people. So give yourself the gift of privacy this Christmas with ExpressVPN. You can get three months free, expressvpn.com slash Triforce. The app works on all your devices, phone, tablet, laptop, whatever, and it's super easy to use and super fast. I don't even know it's on and it gives me peace of mind and lets me get around those annoying content blocks that stop me from watching the television shows on Netflix in America that I want to watch. So you can get three months free, expressvpn.com slash Triforce, E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Triforce. Take yourself off the naughty list and sign up today. So this is from a, a, a minuscule penis haver. Uh, says, do we plan to retire ever? Um, and if so, would we keep the Triforce podcast going? I don't know. I, I plan on retiring for sure. Uh, I just don't know how long we can stay even remotely relevant for. Like it's the space that we operate in is a, a young space, right? Like There are 3,000 things that rhyme with buble. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this According is why we can't internet. ever retire. We have this kind of vital research. <laughs> I feel like I, Guy I feel Fawkes like, Day. I mean, <laughs> I Guy Fawkes Day rhymes with Buble. Guy Fawkes. Well, day, does. day just cabriolet. Itself. Yeah, cabriolet. Yeah, cabaret. Oh. Buble, I'm looking for a two-syllable rhyme for Buble. Oh, a two, there's loads of two-syllable ones. Go on. Uh, airway. Oh no, this is that doesn't rhyme. Bouquet. Bu Buffet. Bouquet. I'll give you. Bu Child's Bouquet play. Bouquet and Buble goes well. Child's play doesn't because it's too different. Like Foul I'm looking play. for a no, that's no good. That's no good. Hey, horse play. That's three. No, what do you want? no good. It, what it, do you it's, want? It's a cop Monday. out. It's a cop out rhyme. Ass play. Nick, Nick, Nick Ass theme. play and buble. That's <laughs> that goes well. That's the one you were looking for. That's what that's what, that's what he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Toupee. How about that? Toupee. <laughs> that fits with what we're doing. <laughs> Toupee that fits with buble. Frappe. What about uh, like a like a frappuccino? Like a fra like a iced a frappe. frappe. That's a a French. Frappe. I believe that's French for for a shot in football. Hit. Frappe. The goal. Frappe la balle. Really? Means hit. Yeah. I think it's just a. Isn't it French football player? Frappe no, mes fesses. That's, that's Mbappe. Oh. So Mbappe. they would say Mbappe. Frappe. Frappe <laughs> Mbappe. Frappe ballon. Oh, that's so cute. Frappe, Frappe mes ballon. 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 How do they say goal? I can't remember. Le but. Le but. Quel but. They call Quel it but. but. <laughs> Quel but. Mbappe avec le frappe. <laughs> 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 but my Shit. neighbors are going to start wondering. So the, the guys working on the uh, the Russian spy house have torn down the back of it and are rebuilding the conservatory. Man, that man, had maybe, fallen apart. maybe there's like some weird uh, space time continuum, like uh, rift or something. And actually, this whole time, the spy house, you're looking through a portal and seeing my house in Jersey because it sounds like they're having very similar works done to their place you know what i mean you're not having a conservatory put in are you serious no 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 not a conservatory that's very Come on, out that's like fucking conservatories no, yeah it's called an the, orangery these the days. 1980s uh what? it was a long that's time ago called. i don't think anybody oh. has them built anymore conservatories because they're they're really uh inner energy inefficient extremely right? inefficient yeah. my old conservatory was the least energy efficient thing it just I've like it's like a in. like a fucking black hole for uh heat house heat, right? it just yeah Disappe disappears in there. It just it goes. It dissipates. An orangery sounds so fucking amazing. I'm looking at the orangery Wikipedia article, and it's yeah. all like there's like little they're like little castles built in beautiful landscapes in like Prussia and yeah. Belgium. Well, that's, that's a very Versailles. fancy name for a fucking conservatory, basically. But even oh, conservatory orangery. sounds fancy too. It does, it, but it's like when I think of a conservatory, I I think of that show One Foot in the Grave from like the you know the late eighties, like early nineties. Yeah, or keeping up appearances. Yeah, yeah, or keeping know. up appearances. It's like that era, right? It, when one Foot it was in the like, Grave was Richard, such a good we show. have to get a conservatory. Yes. The neighbors have built one, and we need one. I'm trying to get this conservatory built. Yeah, and he's always I angry do with people. Be. I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's literally what that show would be. It, would it be, was such a good show. I though. watched the first ever episode of that show the other day. It's interesting because in the first ever episode, he's still working. He works as a security yeah. guard at a big company. 
Yeah, and, he, get, uh, he gets a few odd jobs along the way as well. He's like he, semi-retired. The yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't want to. Like, he doesn't want to retire though. Like, and right. that's the whole premise of the show. It's that he's forced to retire. Yeah, but then he's miserable because he just has fuck all to sitting do. Sitting around the house, he's yeah, sitting he's around the house, like getting getting caught up in dog shit things. He's he realizes, God, this is also petty. Yeah. and now he has to deal with the neighbors and stuff like that. Yeah, Angus yeah, yeah. Deaton was his neighbor, I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, it was a great show. It was really good. It was very funny. He's only yeah. supposed to be four, uh, sixty years old. Yeah, um, married. I, to, I loved his his wife was great. He was, was the like, actor that played Victor Mildrew at the time was only in his 50s like uh he's like he's still going he's like 86 now or something he's like he's or, not going or, or no he sorry he's might might even be in his 90s i might be wrong about that oh my god you're right he's 86 yeah there you go wow wow there you go victor feckin mildrew <laughs> <laughs> all right it's two some fucking uh letters or else we're not all gonna right. have any put through uh this is from james what are your favorite snacks that's his email what are your favorite snack foods oh man right. i like i like i like to have mini cheddars you know if they're around potato chips you know like the little grab bags of uh walkers like um salted or like um salt and vinegar or uh, cheese and onion you know like you get those like six pack variety packs or whatever I, I don't know. My really mother-in-law brings those, them over for um, the kids, and then I just eat them all. Mini, ch mini cheddars are great, especially the red Leicester flavor. Uh, apparently, although I have, I, I haven't had one in years. More um, of a tradi traditionalist when it comes to uh, mini cheddars. Hat Films did a, a thing where they went through all the best UK crisps, and it was like it just—it's kind of strange because Skips, at some point in my life, I have eaten quavers, every single one of these. You yeah, know? and I kind of—you can kind of recall the real McCoys. Yeah, mm, it was I really like interesting those. watching them. In the in a way, like you know how sometimes you watch these YouTube things where people try things that you've never tried, right? Like it's right. it's it's all these Korean chocolates. So they're like trying to describe them or whatever. You oh know? yeah. It's like, oh, these are some sweets from Australia. Yeah. And you're like, okay. And then, but doing the British one, me knowing exactly what everything tasted like was yeah. kind of interesting. I I used to I used to love a timeout wafer. You know. Oh like, yeah, nice. What about a dime a nice, bar? You ever have a dime? I don't, I don't dime think bar? I've ever been a double a... decker. You ever had a double decker? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, or a boost. A while ago. Oh man, boosts were nice. Can't eh? eat boosts though. They got nuts in, haven't they? Oh shit. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or at least I seem to recall. Maybe no, I not. Think, I think I'm pretty sure they do have. have I've, I've, I've got to be a little bit careful. You gotta <laughs> yeah. eat it. He can't have any nuts. Well, maybe not. Maybe it is just. Maybe it isn't nuts. I've been avoid. I've wasted my life not eating a boost. You gotta get on nuts it. In. You you'll love them. Man, but go, no, go they're, treat they're, yourself at, right after free. we're done. Well, go, like, go to the I'm shop and sure. you got a co-op like right close to you, right? Just I'll have a on. boost for lunch. Go get a yeah. boost. Yeah, we should. We should. That's that's. That this is. Don't, don't have a boost. It might kill you. What are you? No, well, I just about? looked it up. The it's ingredients say no nuts. Well, um, I don't know guaranteed? why I thought it had nuts in. Yeah, li lions do. Obviously, they got. They got lions got some nuts. In. You can't have a Snickers. You can. You so you've never had a Snickers bar before. No, never had Holy a Snickers. Holy man. Well, well I life, feel like I have, though, because it's just like a Mars bar with uh, a life It's not at all. Me, it's not. <laughs> not. <laughs> it is not Let's at all. Let's calm down there, Lulu. All right? well, what do you mean? It, Mars it's has like a a, some bar. fucking weird foamy shit inside it. The nougat. The nougat, is, yeah. But, it, so. uh, but uh, Snickers does not have that. It's got like more, I don't know, man. They're nice. Have you ever had a Snickers ice cream bar? Oh, yeah, they're those excellent. Are my kids, so my kids good. love those. Yeah. But a Mars ice Snickers. cream is also very pog. I'll, yeah, I'll Mars ice cream. Oh, I remember nice. having I'd, a Mars ice one. cream, thinking that was pog. I was never a Mars bar fan. I've got to admit. Do you, do you, this is a very nineties. My kids don't watching... like them, so we get them all the time. Like they, they went trick or treating, and they won't eat them. So it's just like oh. free Mars bars. Yeah, bizarre. I know. This is this like is them. thing on Netflix, which is feels like an advert, but I know it's not. It's about the in the nineties. There was this uh, Pepsi Pepsi points thing, yeah, where you could you know collect Pe Pepsi, Pepsi points wrappers Pep Pepsi and points. get like get like a sunglasses and a leather jacket or whatever. From yeah, was this Pepsi was points. like the the Puff Daddy Mace era, right? Of, uh, of it was all rapping. of it was a very interesting time. The the where... bling the bling era of yeah Crystal Pepsi. They had the crystal clear <laughs> Pepsi. Remember when Van Halen did. Uh, did the uh, the ad for that the Crystal Pepsi Crystal Clear? They Pepsi. got some huge stars to do stuff for them. Obviously, Pepsi had like Michael Jackson. They had sing. the Right Now song. It's the, um, ben it's Halen, the Pepsi right? Generation. You know, he was like doing. That. 
there were tons you, of these. If they you were drink praying. Pepsi, honestly, there's something wrong with you. It's disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't well, mind Pepsi. I, you know, I think Pepsi. I, I think Pepsi is technically bigger than Coke. If you, if, I, I, know, I don't sounds, think that's no. Don't think actually, so. it, it, it because of the um, it's because of uh, Pepsi PepsiCo's um, holdings in other companies and stuff. They're actually oh, the biggest. Right. Yeah, they're huge. Oh, right, they uh, own like. Water. I think Coke as a brand is 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 more well known, well known. and more popular, but actually Pepsi is a uh, is a bigger company. Actually, much bigger company if you look into Goodness. it. Interesting, it's crazy. Yeah, citation needed. Uh, but yeah, I, the documentary was about how in the advert they said, you know, if you collect seven million points, you'll get a Harrier jump jet, and that was like the whole sting of the yeah, advert, right? Yeah. But there's this kid who found out a way to get that many points and then tried to claim a Harrier jump jet from Pepsi. From Pepsi. So it's a story of all these people. It's, it's very good. It's very 90s. It's very kind of It reminds me of that McDonald's one that they had, the Monopoly um, with the, the organized crime um, thing. That was a great story. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, what, the Monopoly points? Yeah, the Monopoly um, yeah. game. The, oh, the, so were, interesting. They, yeah, it was. that was the, an interesting the, one. The, the, it's like where marketing collides with accident, like like gamers basically. People try to game the system or exploit the system and and get a, get get one over on these people, but ending up getting more publicity out of it as a result. But not on purpose, you know. I don't think they were looking for a lawsuit, but um, it does make the news at some point. I don't know, it's just it's such a such an interesting world. But yeah, the um, the, the girl, let's go back to the mailbag uh, because we've done snacks. I we think a uh, Harrier jump I don't really jet eat would snacks. look really good on my driveway. I try and eat like <laughs> I try to eat a banana. There you go. That's that's my answer. Banana's a decent snack, honestly. Like, but I'm like I think it's more like if you're just grabbing something. I like uh, like naked bars are kind of nice, you know, like or like just like like peanut peanut bars are, are kind of nice. Oh my god! Someone brought Cashew some nuts. mini Colin the caterpillars into the office. And oh, I was eyeing yeah. them up yesterday. Those are fun. And I think <laughs> if I wasn't if I wasn't vegan, I would have had one of them. They no, I, I've, I've actually nice. had a sore stomach from eating are too many of those vegan? before. Are they not vegan? I They're thought definitely they made not. Most of the M S most of the M S sweets are vegan now. Yeah, not the Colin, like the, not the chocolate ones. I didn't. I did. Oh, the Colin the caterpillar. Oh, cake. sorry. I thought you meant the gummies. Oh no, they're, there's little. They're little like Swiss. They're little mini rolls. For you know, this is the this is the thing, right? Like. It is about laziness. You don't want a, a collin, right? It's difficult. You have to cut it up. You need a knife. This yeah, is, no, this they, these are bite mini bite-sized ones. These yeah. are ready cut up ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. much more middle class. They're good, yeah. And you know what we do when it's the kid's birthday? We get the big one that you have to cut, but we also get the bite-sized ones. Oh, just that's like, ingenious. Just for fun, like on the side. Just you know? for overflow. Yeah. <laughs> well, it depends <laughs> on like how much I think, cake is I think consumed. Colin the for Caterpillar is middle class cocaine, isn't it? It's, they're, they're it's not great, honestly, because they're, their dicks. they're fucking no, chowing down on bite-sized collins. The thing is, though, they're so handy because, like, getting a cake made is a pain in the ass. Like, if you go to a bakery and you have to order it and pick it up and stuff, they only do certain sizes. You end up with way too much cake. They're fucking expensive. Like, calling the caterpillar serves like what eight people, and it costs like four pounds. Like, it's it's a no-brainer. It's like it's, it's the perfect. It's perfect blend. Yeah. Because you're not like, man, you're not making a meal of it. Like you're putting one candle in there. You're singing happy, happy birthday to a three-year-old and you're moving on with your life. Like, you know what I mean? It's fucking, I, I, I hate getting like, going like, you know, like I said, the bakery and getting a cake and fucking icing with writing on it and shit. Like, it's like, it's so much hassle. Like, I don't know. Uh, so I, I've had an email from a guy called Jared. It is probably over a thousand words long right and it's incredibly rambling i don't know what is going on here um he said i'll skip the pleasantries and get right into it and then there's just all the, the, it starts off with the, this sentence the myth of the fat gladiator and okay. other historical misconceptions jared I, I don't know if anybody's going on about the myth of the fat gladiator i've never heard of the, the fat gladiator. i don't know what that even means no um he says the myth of the fat gladiator is a common misconception that Roman era gladiators were a bit chubby. The okay. logic being that the extra fat could allow for superficial cuts that looked good to the audience but didn't cause significant damage. Oh. While anyone who thinks about it for more than 10 seconds realizes how ridiculous this is. 
I've heard it spouted from Coliseum tour guides to popular history YouTubes. All right, Jared, what a weird thing to get angry about. I, I don't think anybody gives a shit about the fact, the myth of the fat gladiator. That's incredible. Well, I do it now. Ran, it, well, now I'm intrigued. It, it rambles all over the place. That's he calls, the point. He calls this man the is giving world, us content. Uh, well, just Jared. you wait. Yeah, he then goes on to say that much of the ancient world was super gay. Um, he also says Christopher Columbus was a genocidal maniac. He talks about what Jesus really looked like, and then he signs off with a giant selfie of his torso, which is magnificent. Um, but what, are, what probably what? one of the strangest emails I think I've ever had. It's far too long to read. It, it's it's incredible. Uh, it's it go. It talks about the Ice Age, brain size, uh, Alexander the Great. Uh, the size of penises on ancient statues. Jared, just trim it, dude. Oh my just... god, yeah, there's a book. So there's a, he must have just read this book called <laughs> Naked Statues, Fat Gladiators, and War Elephants. Frequently asked <laughs> questions about the ancient Greeks and Romans, and it just it's it's obviously like interestingly a callback. The naked statues are of pre Priapus, the the from Priapism, Priapus, which we like mentioned from earlier. Yeah, Holy and crap. he basically the reason they had these statues of guys with big dicks was to scare away birds. That is apparently that? how um, I that? find I find my big dick has the opposite effect when it comes to <laughs> birds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. Man. That was good. Well done, sir. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Well done. <laughs> oh, man. so many about boldness this week um here we go when did we even uh, speak about boldness to warrant we, I, so we many... mentioned it a couple of weeks ago oh, um yeah. we it's talked just I, I, I said does it really come from the mother's side uh and so i've had biologists <clears throat> doctors a guy that works for demoxinil all of these people emailing to talk about it so um we get it no more emails about boldness, Wait, what, so what uh, is the answer? It does come from the mother's side. Apparently so. Yeah, that's that's the deal. I'm just trying to think how much hair my grandpa had, my granddad. Well, I don't my, think he was uh, very fucking much. My maternal grandfather had a shitload of hair, um, so I don't know what the fuck happened there. Oh, well, if, there's always an exception to the rule, I guess. Yeah, me. As usual, the exception to the rule and not in a good way. This is from Luke. On a previous mailbag, you spoke about gross foods from Europe and the UK. I think we talked about Sir Stroman and some other things. Yes, we oh, right. did. Yeah. We did. So then this is this is just clearly a, a bait email, but I'll, I'll say it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I will step into your trap, sir. Yes, I willingly. Whenever the topic of gross foods is brought up here in the US, you may be shocked to learn that the first food mentioned is always beans on toast. Whoa. What? I had that yesterday. He says, I know that that Flax's immediate response will be to put down American foods. You are correct, sir. But these are typically gross for being overly greasy, sugary, and proce processed, whereas I believe beans on toast is a texture issue to most Americans. Yeah, maybe. I can't I mean, I get it. But, I mean, Americans do eat beans, refried beans and stuff. Indeed. Like and they and they do eat toast, and the two complement each other fairly well. Like you don't necessarily have to have the beans on the toast if you don't want, but like right. well, this is a thing that happened recently on Great British Bake Off. They had a Mexican um, theme, right? Yeah, the American audience went mental. Um, they lost <laughs> their mind because we in Britain don't share a border with Mexico, so right, right. we don't have like that much familiarity with no, I mean, but Mexican cuisine. Sure, and but a lot of like, like I was reading about the the uh, the popular like um, potato chip um, flavors in North America, and well, so America, Canada, and the UK, and like the differences, and coming back to this this like shared border with mexico and uh, and and the, and you know access to the rest of south america or whatever a lot of a lot of american potato chip flavors are like chipotle and and stuff like that stuff that we, uh -huh. we you wouldn't find in canada or would be popular in canada and uh, and certainly not in the uk like it just it's just not right like Interesting. The, the uk has like roast chicken cheese and onion Salt Worcester and vinegar, sauce. you know. This is what happened. It's okay. just totally different. So Great British Bake Off did a thing with peanut butter and fruit, right? Right. Okay. And apparently, <laughs> the quote the quote is, uh, one viewer wrote, apparently, Siberia just introduced the British to peanut butter and jelly. And it, the thing is, it's a huge thing in America, and it's not a thing in Britain. Peanut butter mm. and jam, peanut butter. And, no, and, yeah. And, and, and anything. It just, and that, that, you're right about the 
cultural taste profile thing. But then over here, is... you'll have peanut butter. You can buy little things of like uh, peanut butter and apple, like, and people eat that as a as a snack because it's like you know, good like energy food, right? Like you 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 can get Do that they? you can get that at any supermarket. Yeah, it's like a. Uh, it's like become like a snack, you know, like uh, you can get like a, a thing of like apple segments with like a little pot of peanut butter. Like you can it's, get them at Waitrose we everywhere. We definitely don't, we definitely don't see eye to eye though on, on like some, some stuff across, across the channel. Sure. Uh, across the pond. Yeah. You know, it, it, like I think that us, I, I think a lot of Americans do watch Great British Bake Off. It's really a global show. A lot of, a lot of people watch it from, and I think that, they're often surprised by the things we do and don't know. And, and it is, a there lot, are certain things. A lot of uh, it, British baking involves root vegetables as well, though, right? Which is not not a huge thing in, in other countries. <laughs> it's only really <laughs> yeah, big probably. in Britain because that's the only goddamn thing they could grow for like decades, like uh, before and after uh, both of the world wars, right? When they had like yeah. heavy rationing and stuff like that. All they did was grow potatoes and carrots because that's all that can grow over here, basically. <laughs> so, like most, it's it's not a surprise that most of their cuisine is like stapled with root vegetables as well, right? Yeah, I think it ended. I think the episode ended with them conceding that that it does work and it, it, the combo is is, uh, um, what's it complementary? Sure, as, you know, but. But I, I think that this is like a, a, a common issue really in the world. It's that you don't realize, like we get so much American information about the elections and the Supreme Court and all this stupid shit. We hear about it all the time. And yet all the time. we don't watch like any of, we don't know any references to any of the sport or any of the late night stuff or the, any of the, no, that any stuff of those doesn't TV really shows. translate though. Because also, there stuff- are a lot of celebrities in the States that just have zero presence over here that we still, you still hear about. They will make jokes on sitcoms, on late night shows, and all the rest of it, about people that we have no fucking idea who they are. No. Yes. Yeah. And those shows still come over here, and they will make these references, especially also about products yeah. and places, and it's like, this joke just doesn't translate at all, which is fine. I mean, you know, if people make a, made a joke about Milton Keynes on a sh- British show, yeah. no one's going to fucking know what that means in the States. So they're not going to have any idea. So, But then it, the it, same it, can it be weird. true the other way, too. Like, can you imagine somebody from America watching Only Fools and Horses? Like, they just wouldn't fucking have a clue Yeah, no, no, exactly. On, right? Like, it, it's just one of those things where, you know, there the, the, are always going to be specific cultural references sure. that yeah. are just not... not uh, whenever for, I think uh, about this, I group. think about that... that, that a thing where you've just heard of something and then you seem to see it everywhere. Yeah, that, right. Whatever it's called. Um, so because you know, so often if you don't get a joke, they're on to the next one already. Or if you don't don't understand a reference, you don't remember that. You're not like, oh, I better look up who you know Prue is or whatever. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to like. You don't have to like do that um, in your mind. Right. But but as soon as you've heard of something. Oh, now that you know peanut butter and jelly is a thing, you'll be seeing it everywhere, right? Like right. as soon as you realized that the the um that was part of the culture. Yeah. It became I used to have um, peanut butter and jam sandwiches in my lunch when I was a kid time. all the damn yeah. time. Like all the time. I might I might go and enjoy one now. You know, vegan. You can't have peanut butter, oh, Lewis. That's true. That's true. I bet. Like, I mean, things have changed a lot nowadays, though, right? I mean, do kids even still take packed lunches to school now? Like, or do they just both get my kids do delivery like to the school? No, or, no, like... both my kids do. Like, they they, they have. <laughs> they get a my, my, Uber Eats. My youngest can have school lunches. My eldest has a canteen at work, at work at her school. Yeah, that does all all kinds of cool sounding food, but. After a while, they get sick of it, yeah, and they would rather have something they made themselves. But as I point out to them, you guys do realize that you have pretty much the same thing every day for your lunches. They're like, yeah, but it's what I want. They so like they don't the, mind if it's the same kids, thing every day. Kids kind of thrive on them. routine and consistency, though, don't yeah, they? Yeah, but but apparently not when it comes to having the same thing at school every day. Yeah. It's weird. Like my daughter will, so you can get paninis there. Like nice. a nice fresh hot panini. Oh wow! And she's like, oh, she's like, I've got sick of paninis. I'm like, yeah, but you're just taking the same. Just dog give shit me a mini call in the caterpillar. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, but I, I, I get it though. Like, if you're eating a panini every day for lunch, like, I would want to like get something different. You know, beans like, on toast. 
What get about some, like chicken burger Tuesdays? Fancy. Like, you know, like spice it up a little bit. Sloppy Joe's. Get some yeah. sloppy yeah. Joe's on a Wednesday. Like prison, the prison rotation. Get some fucking yeah. pasta in there too, like on a Arctic Thursday. roll. Yeah. All right. Let's let's stop. Because I've got to go. You gotta Sorry, go. guys. You got to go. Make, make okay. slightly shorter one than normal. But thank you for joining us for this mailbag. We've got loads of letters. We'll do oh them. We'll do some more. No uh, more about week. boldness, please. Please. I've no got more like 50. About- Oldness. All right. Good. Okay. <laughs> just generally don't write letters in response to the mailbag episode. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, just Otherwise, it's like a never ending cycle. Oh, don't I that's ever okay. reference Flax and don't look at him in the eye either. Yeah, okay. please. All right. Thank you, everyone. We love you. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.